Hey, this is Thomas, and in this video, we're gonna be going over how to operate the Zion Mollus X100 Lite. In the previous video, we've been over how to power the device, as well as setting up with the various different accessories. In this video, we're gonna be going over the operation, and also at the end, learning how to update the firmware. So let's go over the buttons and dials first. You'll see we have two dials on the side. The first is for the dimness, so adjusting the brightness of the light. We can either adjust that by fine tuning it, or we can simply press it to skip between three different brightness settings, 50%, 100%, and 0%. On top of that, we'll see we have a CCT control to adjust the color temperature of the light, all the way from 6,500 right down to 2,700. Again, if you push the dial down and use it as a button, we can skip between 2,700 to 5,500 to 6,500 and back down to 2,700. You see on the display here, we have a simple representation of the level of brightness and also the color temperature that we currently are on. We have the mode on the top left-hand side. And when we are plugged into USB-C power, we will also see the wattage that is being put into the device. So there are two different power settings on the Mollus X100. We're gonna access those by holding down the brightness as a button, releasing, and then you'll see the power on modes. So we've got a normal mode and a live mode. If we switch to live mode, the device will automatically be turned on as soon as we plug it into power. So we're now powering the light through the mains. And as you can see, on live mode, when we unplug the light, of course it will turn off, but then when we plug it in, the light will come on automatically without having to turn the power on. So that is what live mode does. Please note that this setting will not work with the battery pack or via USB-C. It will only work with the mains cable. Finally, if we hold down the color temperature button, then we will access music mode, where the light will react to changes in the music and will reflect the music through changes in the lighting. To update the firmware of the X100, follow these steps. Visit the official website of Zion, Go to the Zion Mollus X100 product page, find the Zion LED tools file and download it. Unzip the firmware for the files with the PTZ file extension. Connect a Type-C USB cable into the Type-C port of the X100 and connect it to your computer. Open Zion LED tools, click open and click Firmware Upgrade. Click Browse under Path to select the latest firmware download with the PTZ file extension, and click Upgrade at the bottom to upgrade the firmware. Zion Mollus X100 will automatically turn off when the upgrade is finished. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching.